You know, the old days they couldn't say the shit they want to say. They had the fake orgasms and shit. We can tell niggas today, hey, I want to come, motherfucker. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. You're such a fucking hoe. I love it. Your boyfriend is the door. Make love it. Subscribe to my channel. Hi guys, I'm back with another reading. And that was a song that I channeled for you today. And it was by Kanye West. And it's called I Love It. So, while I was singing that song, I channeled a message for you today. And it was quite disturbing. But... I'm just going to say it because I feel like God wants you to know and God's trying to protect you from this negativity here, this negative energy that you're around but you might not have any idea about or I just heard you might have an inkling but I heard he's sleeping with your daughter so take that how it resonates and I feel like it's your partner. So, this is your reading. You might want to get a personal reading or you might actually know that this is, you know, the confirmation you was looking for. In the song, I also heard sister and cousin. So I feel like this person's quite promiscuous and they like to keep it in the family. I'm hearing interbreeding. So this person could have possibly got someone pregnant, but I definitely heard that they're sleeping with your daughter here. And I'm hearing your daughter is in her late teens, so this could be like an 18 year old daughter, 19 year old, I'm picking that up too. So, this is gonna be a deep one. That's what I'm sensing here. I feel like a heavy heart energy. So you might feel, you know, quite depressed I'm hearing left out in the cold here I feel like this person doesn't really sleep with you much and if they do it's like a quickie kind of energy that's the kind of vibe they have here they go around giving people quick ones I'm hearing sly ones I'm hearing on the sly I'm hearing this person is a sly fox sort of energy what star sign is this person, please? I'm hearing Aries, Leo, Sedge energy. So take it out, resonates here. Might have a younger sister. I'm also hearing an older sister. Yeah, you're someone who has two sisters here. One's older than you, one's younger than you. I feel like you're an empath energy. You're someone who's kind, caring, compassionate. You're always there for this person. This could be a shark sort of energy. I'm hearing energy vampire. I'm hearing quick to the chase. So this person, you know, they have their eye on someone and they just pounce. This person could have been watching your daughter, watching your daughter grow. And you know, having that end away with your daughter, that's what I'm picking up here. And I feel like there's no actual reason that this person did this to you. It's just some sort of sick energy. So I'm hearing um, something. I'm hearing some of the lyrics. I'm hearing, I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. So this person's definitely fast paced. You know, they've watched your child grow. They're not the, the child's father. This is your partner. And I feel like this person, you know, took advantage of your child. That's what I'm picking up here. Because I feel like they knew this child would not tell. Or they knew this child would not, you know, would not stop them. This could be a shy sort of child. Like a child who doesn't really express their emotions or talk about how they're feeling or this could be a child who you know is quite a plain Jane sort of energy like you know they don't really wear makeup or they don't really you know 
they're not extravagant in their appearance they're just like a plain jane sort of book reading here book one kind of child here i'm also picking up your child's quite intelligent and your child could possibly be of university age or high like some sort of education that they're in right now I'm picking that up as well I feel like you know you're protected here but I do feel like this is going to be a nightmare sort of situation where you know you're going to have to really evaluate the people around you I feel like this pe person has slept with most of the people around you being sneaky sly sneaky motherfucker I'm hearing You might get some sort of dream or premonition or you might have had a dream or a premonition that this person, you know, is sleeping with your child and I'm picking up you could be in your 40s. I'm also picking up this this person's been in this child's life since I was like five years old. I'm seeing a five here. They're definitely, you know, seeing them through their teens, like growing up, going through puberty. So this is like 13, 14, 15, you know, they've, they've grown this child with you. That's what I'm picking up here as well. I also feel like you're sort of like a plain Jane, so you're not really someone who, you know, you know wears makeup or you could just wear lashes but you don't really you know exaggerate your looks that's what i'm hearing so you're someone who you know you don't wear wigs you don't wear makeup you don't you know you don't overdo it i do feel that like this would hit you really emotionally and I'm still hearing your child's quiet. So take that if it resonates. Yeah, so I feel like your child might be, you know, really like showing sort of sexual advances or maybe dressing a bit more provocative than usual or, you know, being around you both quite a lot here, you know more than they usually are I'm picking that up too I also feel like this could happen at night you could be someone who works nights or maybe this person took this child out at night or something happens here at night maybe you're not around at night you could be you know partying or out at night I feel like this person waits for you to go before they do this with your child. Yeah, I definitely see this child's in some sort of education right now. So this could be college, uni, you know, some sort of um, apprenticeship I'm hearing as well. Yeah, I'm picking up this child. Is like quiet like they don't really hang around with many other children or they don't hang around with you know a group of people here this child's more you know secluded or isolated or they just keep themselves to their selves I'm hearing that as well I feel like this child is someone that you wouldn't ever be suspicious of I'm here and watch this person around your child. I feel like this is an energy of having to, you know, get your child away from this person because I feel like this person's some sort of predator, like some sort of undercover person, or you know, they might encourage you to go and help some people, or you could be someone who's on call. So you might be on call in the night, you could work in, you know, like a hospital or a doctor's surgery or, you know, a carer's sort of job here as a career. I'm feeling like you're always on call or you work late or, you know, you might get calls for help a lot. This person's a type to encourage you to go and do that so that they can, you know, have some sort of sexual 
you know, rendezvous with your child here. Yeah, this is all hidden. This is all in the dark. Like, you would have no idea. Even if you had a suspicion, you would have put it to the back of your mind because you would have thought, nah, you know, there's no way. So you're not watching your child. You're not watching the person around your child. Maybe you see them as a father figure sort of energy for your child. So you wouldn't suspect a thing here. And this person you know would act like a father around you so that you know you wouldn't suspect that this is happening under your nose kind of thing yeah i feel like this person has some sort of sex addiction here where they go around sleeping with anyone if anyone tickles their fancy they'll give them a quick one sort of energy that's what i'm picking up here so i feel like there's more family members this person has slept with you may have been suspicious and you may have been skeptical about this person but you don't act on it you kind of think nah this ain't happening or this would never happen hearing that as well i feel like this person takes some sort of drugs here this person could get high a lot they could take ecstasy i'm hearing m dizzle molly cocaine here i feel like this person takes drugs and then takes advantage of young girls or other family members or whoever's around them that would take part in this sexual you know, exchange here. Yeah, I do feel like this will, you know, I'm hearing tumults. I feel like this will blow up. This will come out. This will be seen real soon here. And I do feel like maybe this child's taking this drug too. Could be with you person or could be, you know, on their own. I do feel like this child's struggling at uni or struggling at college or struggling with their work right now and then maybe you know rebelling and doing you know wrong things here I do feel like you had a lot of high hopes for this child but that's all going into the reverse because the truth's coming out I'm hearing finally coming out yeah, your child broke the rules or this person broke the rules with your child, but I feel like they're both capable here of knowing right from wrong. So I feel like they're both broke the rules here and this will cause severe heartbreak. That's what I'm picking up. They're taking risks behind your back. Your child might have started dressing, you know, quite provocatively or started to come around this person quite a lot. Your child might have tattoos or they've recently had a tattoo done. I'm seeing that as well. I feel like this child, you know, just changing, changing how they look or changing their appearance real quick here. Or like I said, dressing provocatively and hanging around you and your person quite a lot here looking for a quick you know just I can't even <sighs> yeah I do feel like this child has been taken advantage of at the same time you know this person raised your child like what are they really doing here feeling like a confused energy like they're making this child feel like this is okay and you know you know like they're doing nothing wrong here when they actually are i'm hearing monster this person's a monster you might or might not know that I feel like this person's a good actor but I do feel like you'll receive some sort of message here this could be a download this could be your intuition i'm hearing guessing you might guess that this is going on and 
you know you might sweep it onto the carpet or you might have to actually throw these two out that's what I'm picking up here also here this child might be in their early 20s I'm just seeing a monster sort of energy. You could be someone who has a dog or a cat. I'm seeing that, or you're someone who's protected and that's why you're getting this message. I feel like a lot of shit's gonna come out in Halloween. Like you might receive this download near Halloween when the veil's thin. I feel like someone can might visit you from the spiritual realms. This could be in your dreams. Or this could be in your daydreams or you have some sort of epiphany around Halloween where you're going to realise what is actually going on under your nose with this young person. I feel like this person only has you so they might not have a stable father figure in their life, just this stepfather energy here who, you know, is taking advantage of their position here. I feel like nothing's going to change here. Nothing's going to change. and Everything's going to get worse. This could be a narcissist, like I said. So sociopath, I mean, psychopath here. This person pretends to be, you know, like a parent. That's what I'm picking up here. I feel like as well this child might, you know, be under some sort of peer pressure to have had sex. So maybe they slept with your person just to break their virginity. Maybe they felt like they was, you know, the only person who wasn't, you know, with somebody or hadn't broken their virginity. I'm hearing that too. So I feel like this person could have taken your child's virginity. I'm hearing that as well. I'm also seeing family have entertained this person sexually too, especially around celebrations. This could be nights out, this could be Christmas times, like whatever celebrations, parties, birthdays. I see a lot of weed being smoked here. So you or this person could smoke a lot of weed. I definitely see someone, you know, who feels like, you know, they don't really reach that sort of climax with you or sex with you is not that exciting. So they started to dabble and, you know, here and then mess with the chosen one's child so you could be someone who feels like they're quite high honoured and you know chosen and highly favoured by the most high and you know you wouldn't even look at this person like that but I feel like this is what predators are like they spy on you know their prey without you even knowing so this is something that you wouldn't Know, and this is something that's been swept under the carpet so you would not notice this that's why I'm picking up a lot here yeah I feel like you're someone who goes out quite a lot you know partying you could like to dance sing you know enjoy yourself and go to events I feel like that's when this person entertains your child you might actually catch them at it when you're on your way home or you know your instinct tells you that something's going on after a night out you have some sort of revelation or you might actually catch them in the act that's what i'm picking up here but i feel like your ancestors are trying to whisper this to you trying to guide you trying to tell you that something's going on here you might have a child who, you know, started to wear quite revealing clothes, like I said, or, you know, like co sets, like belly tops and showing off their belly. They could have a belly piercing. I'm seeing jewellery and I'm seeing like crop tops and, you know, matching skirts or matching, you know, attire here. 
Yeah, I feel like this person doesn't love you anymore. Or they don't love the sex with you, or they don't, you know, feel committed to you any longer. So they started to look elsewhere, or they've been feeling like this for some time here. They might feel like you don't love them, so you know, they're just you know, doing whatever they can behind your back here with whoever will do it. Here and I'm a sick fuck, I like a quick fuck again. So I feel like this person goes around getting quick ones all the time of anyone who will sort of entertain them. I keep hearing that, so I feel like this person has a real know sex addiction i'm hearing lust and i'm hearing this person stares at women so you might have caught them staring at women before as well and i feel like the child's single but at the same time they might be talking to someone here someone who could possibly work at mcdonald's i'm hearing that as well so your child could be talking or have you know, boyfriend who works at McDonald's as well, so you wouldn't suspect that this is going on here. Yeah, so you could be someone in the King of Pentacles energy. You're all about your work right now. You're constantly working, you're constantly grafting, you're constantly bringing the money in here. And I see that you have a family with this person too. So you could have other kids with this person. That's why I'm picking up. This person enjoys juggling you behind the scenes. This is all hidden. I'm seeing heavy sacral chakra energy here. And I'm seeing you're just all about your bag right now and working hard here. I do feel like you're someone who drives and I do feel like you work in some sort of building here. So like I said, it could be a home, a nursing home, a hospital, some sort of surgery that you work at. And that's what your main focus is right now, your career. This could be a stay at home dad, I'm hearing that too. This is someone who likes to sleep a lot or is sleeping with your child a lot here. And this is behind your back because I see you over there in the window with the other kids. So I feel like this is completely behind your back, behind your family's back. Like no one would suspect that this is going on. That's why I'm picking up here. This person stays at home and waits for you to win the bread. I'm hearing you're the breadwinner. And this person reaps the benefits of whatever you're making here as well. This could be someone who, you know, they have a bit of money themselves. They could wear a chain. You know, I'm seeing like a game, a sort of energy. Like this person might play, you know, like games a lot. I'm hearing Nintendo. I'm hearing Xbox and PlayStation games. This person, you know, they play a lot of games or watch a lot of TV. This person could be addicted to pornography. I'm hearing that as well. I feel like this person has slept around with family before. This isn't the first time they've done this. And you know, they feel like you will never find out you're blind to this. That's what I'm picking up here. This person could have water in your chart, their chart, or this is you, completely blind to any situation at all, or any past situation, so you have no idea. And I'm seeing the moon as well, so I feel like it's at night, if you were at night here. Yeah, I do see that you're all about your money at the moment, but so is this person, they're watching you stacking money, they're watching you, you know, climb to certain levels, so you could have been training yourself and, you know, you're making money here, maybe you're the main breadwinner here, I feel like this person has no job, no skills or nothing to really bring to the table here other than, you know, just be a stay-at-home parent, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. That's what I'm picking up. But at the same time, this person isn't looking for a job. Their feet are, you know, firm in the ground here. I'm seeing Aries, Leo, Sedge energy again. 
Yeah, so I feel like this person, you know, they're going to regret what they've done to this family because I do see someone spilling the beans or someone catching them in the act or someone finding out what's going on here. You could live near a bridge. You could live near like a reservoir, some kind of lake or pond or some sort of water with a bridge I see near your home here. And I feel like this person's going to get caught out. Maybe someone's going to peer through a window. A child's going to see something. This could be one of your other children. Or this person's going to suspect something. I also feel like you could be engaged. You could have had an engagement with this person. And you could have, you know, plans for a marriage in the future with them. I'm hearing that as well. Or that's your dream and vision. I feel like, you know, this person just waiting for any opportunity here with anyone. Maybe they think with their dick energy, I'm hearing big dick energy, this person might have a large penis or this person just goes around, you know, younger people to make out like they've got a big penis. I'm seeing that as well, but definitely see someone who's thinking with their penis and nothing else but sex here. So this person could have heavy addictions when it comes to sex and I've just spilt the whole deck here. So I feel like there's a lot going on that you have no idea about and I'm hearing a messy person here. I do feel like some sort of news is going to come out with the page of ones here and it's definitely about sex because I'm seeing heavy sacral chakra energy. I also feel like this child could tell someone that they're close to another child, another teenager could reveal this news to you. So I feel like maybe they'll tell in some sort of situation when they're you know under some sort of influence this could be a drugs or they could get drunk one night and just spill the beans on this you know controlling father figure who's sleeping with them that's what i'm hearing here i also feel like this child might not want to sleep with them anymore but they're just still doing it that's what i'm picking up here i feel like this is something different like this is a big change in their energy i also feel like this person wants to pursue this guy that i said might work at a mcdonald's or this other young person instead you know this could be someone who's you know building some sort of money or this person at mcdonald's could be some sort of provider or some sort of drugs or some sort of money for your child too that's what i'm seeing here i do see the truth coming out with the justice card and i do see you going through a living dark night of soul energy i feel like this is going to really kill you i'm seeing like you know pain here i'm seeing hurt i'm seeing pain I'm seeing depression i'm seeing sleepless nights here and i'm seeing you know it's two of cups of energy that you solely loved here, you know. But I just feel like there's someone better for you. I keep saying things like that. But there's definitely someone better for you. I feel like also your child might have fallen in love with some new guy. That's what I'm picking up here. This could be the guy at McDonald's they feel like they're really attracted to this person and they might you know fall in love with this person or you might meet someone else and fall in love with them i'm seeing that as well i also feel like there could have been some sort of altercation here where some this this sounds like some sort of abusive situation this could be blackmail or this could be you know like a pregnancy that's been swept under the carpet i'm seeing that as well but i definitely see a lot of people finding out about this and i do see a family unit crumbling down here i feel like this could possibly be leaked online or someone could leak this to family or you know everyone's going to be talking about this when it comes out i'm hearing that as well 
definitely see this as the truth with the Ace of Swords, but I also feel like the truth's coming in. But like I said, this is around Halloween, so it's gonna be slow, slowly revealed to you. I feel like, you know, God doesn't want to hit you with this too soon here. Yeah, God's trying to, you know, break this to you gently here. So maybe this is, a message of some sort of inkling that you have this is some sort of confirmation i feel like this is like a bad karmic cycle that you've been in with this person and this is someone that you know to find you know real true love this is someone that you're gonna have to release and you know make decisions about what you're gonna do about this child here do see a lot of weakness here when it comes to sexual liaisons when it comes to you you might feel quite weak and not be able to cope so you might go through a bout of like mental illness or mental conflict here as well i do feel like you was providing for these people and they took an advantage of you and i'm not telling you what to do with your daughter you know i'm leaving that to you because i feel like you know yeah you're a mother in that empress energy you definitely you know you, you have to look into this deep you have to sit down with god you have to sit down with yourself here 